Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. The Torah is not what you think. It's not what I think. What does this mean? It means that the Torah is beyond intellect, and yet it comes into intellect. It is from a source. The Torah is one with Hashem Himself. As it comes down into this world, it penetrates our intellect and our hearts and our actions. However, we must always remember that what we understand of the Torah is just a drop. It is just a ray. It's just a tiny little glimpse and revelation into the infinite sea of the Torah. We always have to remember this, that no matter how much Torah we learn, no matter how advanced our study becomes, we're just getting started. And when we have this in mind, it doesn't actually, doesn't, doesn't um, minimize our knowledge, rather it it magnifies it. What does this mean? Recognizing that you are just scratching the surface of the wisdom of Hashem found in the Torah is the beginning to really getting into a deeper level, is the beginning to reaching an even higher level. You must remember, as soon as you find yourself at the top of one level, you're just entering the lowest surf, the, the bottom most part of the next level. And that is how we become humble before Hashem. That is how we actually increase excitement in our Torah study by recognizing that things are just getting started. What is so powerful about the Torah is the Torah is the is the blueprint of reality, is the formula, it is the inner coding of all of reality. And that the Torah preceded the creation of the world by two thousand years. What does this mean? It's not talking exactly about time, because we know Hashem and the Torah are beyond time. It means that when we say the Torah preceded the world, it means that the world was created through the Torah. Hashem created the world through the Torah, that the Torah is the imprint, the blueprint, that the reality of the world is based upon the Torah. This world was created so that we can carry out the will of God. We can follow His word in the Torah within a physical world and have free will and choose to serve Him. There's different dimensions to the Torah. There's the inner dimension, the outer dimension. The inner dimension, the, the inner dimension is, we'll start actually with the outer dimension. The outer dimension is the laws of the Torah. What is allowed and what is forbidden. All of the stories of the Torah. And all of the teachings and all of the, the oral tradition that relates to the outer parts of the Torah, the laws and the stories, which is the will of God. And the inner dimension of the Torah is Chassidus and Kabbalah, the inner secrets of Torah, the inner dimensions of Torah, the godliness and the godly realities found within the Torah. Kabbalah speaks about all the inner spheres, the ten spheres, the ten attributes that exist in our conscious reality, and also in every world of the four general worlds exist these ten spheres. Even within each sphere themselves exist the ten spheres within that sphere. And the spherot are intertwined within each other. This is not. This is a whole topic of, it, of, it, of its own, but it's to realize that this is the inner dimension of Torah, the godliness found within the Torah, the exciting godly ideas. And the outer part of the Torah are all the laws and stories. We must remember that the Torah is one, and that, and learn that Tzemach Tzedek explains in Derech Mitzvah Secha, that God's light, God, when he reveals himself, there is something called Orin Soif. He reveals an infinite godly light. Revelation of God is called the infinite revelation of God is called Urin Surf. Infinite godly and never ending light. However, we are not able to handle this light at first. So Hashem has to hide this light and only reveal a little glimpse of this light, each according to their level into the worlds. Even the highest worlds, which are infinitely greater than this world, can only experience a little drop and a little glimpse, a little ray, a little a little line, so to speak, of God's light. And through the, that light then gets processed and drawn down and processed and drawn down through the infinite worlds until we get to this lowest world, this physical world. However, we know that the Torah is the blueprint to reveal the orient self within this physical world. A light that is beyond infinitely more intense than anything we could ever imagine, an even greater light, an infinitely greater light than that is which found in the highest worlds, will be revealed down here in this world. How? Through the Torah. And the Tzemach Tzedek explains in Derech Mitzvah Secha 
that the way we channel in the divine light is by following the laws of the Torah. When we do good, when we do positive deeds, and we do the mitzvahs, the commandments, we perform the positive commandments, we welcome in the divine light. Each mitzvah is needed to, to, to channel in a different aspect of the divine light. Giving charity brings in one major part of the light. Charity is a general mitzvah that channels in a general amount of light. That is why it is called equivalent to all the mitzvahs combined. Learning Torah is also one of those general mitzvahs that brings in all of the light, like an a infinite light of uh, encompassing light. Then there are specific mitzvahs that channel in other specific attributes of the light, like, for example, keeping Shabbat brings in another aspect of the light. Respecting your parents brings in another aspect of the light. Each mitzvah that we do, that we perform, brings in more godly light into the world. And when we restrain ourselves, when we abstain from doing sins and we, we fight our nature, we fight the evil inclination from convincing us to sin and we abstain from doing a sin, we also bring in godly light and we stop the evil forces from taking away the godly light. So that's why it's so powerful when we, when we block ourselves, when we strengthen ourselves and we control ourselves from doing a sin and we turn away from evil, we not only bring in divine light but we destroy the evil forces that are trying to suck out the light, God forbid. So this is something to think about, something to focus, and to realize that the Torah is far greater than we can ever imagine. And to get excited and to remember that we're just getting started. And you should always remember to yourself, whenever you learn a deep piece of Torah, a deep concept, and you feel inspired, you feel intent, that intense connection, that intense stimulation, you should remember, Hashem is trying to communicate to me through this message. But to always remember that he's also infinitely beyond this message. As great as this message is, as great as this level I'm reaching is, there's infinite more to go. And that brings us even higher, catapults us to an even higher level. So may Hashem bless you all. May we experience this today with the coming of Mashiach. We will see this with our eyes. We'll experience this reality. May Hashem bless you all. Be well. Thank you.